What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at eFootballDB.com which is a player and manager database website where you can see all the players, upcoming players, all the legends, you can compare players, you can look at managers, you can see how much players cost, you can see how much they train up to with their progression and their levels and all that. And of course, you've got all the upcoming featured players that come out on the Mondays as well, such as the, the new ones that came out with the defenders today, like Cannavaro. You've got last week, Samuel Eto'o and those boys as well. So you can check all these. And it's got everything that you could possibly want in a database, as well as a load of new features to be added in the next couple of days and weeks. So let me know and I will pass on any feedback or suggestions that you guys have. If you want to improve this and help the developers improve it, I will pass it on to the lads to improve it. So firstly, from the home screen, we've got, I'm going to go through each feature here. So you've got your basic search. You've got that uh, from the top navigation bar. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, to do a bit of a walkthrough on it. So I know a couple of other content creators will be doing it as well. You can flip the cards, which is a unique thing and see all their player skills on the back of the card. You can slide or you can hover over different versions of different cards under here. As you can see, this is Messi's base card his legend card special edition argentinian card that hasn't been released yet as far as i'm aware and you can see that these players have all got their stats adjusted in real time down below so you can see that they're switching up when you hover over each card instead of individually having to search so again you've got the other search bar then as well that if you want to search anything this is a generic search bar that covers the whole website so you can search for anything that you want be it manager be it player be it squad be it country or national uh, team even formation you can search it's a it's a it's a wide uh, search bar and as you can see here you can filter everything that you want in the player menu by clicking player menu and go into the search filters and you can pick basically whatever that you want here so if you're looking for a specific player and you're thinking oh remember that guy that was in the that was in the you know the player of the months in the first month you can look at this and as i said lads any suggestions that you have to improve the ui to improve anything at all feature wise to add anything to it they are still working on a couple of bits and pieces for it so i know that that will be added um, and different things that has already been fed back but as i said i use this a lot for dream team and i know a lot of people are using it now as well because you can sort by price you can sort by like say for here what is the max level who is the max level players that you can train up so for the likes of Lewandowski he's got 19 levels to go but for somebody that is like a younger player that you can actually boost up very very highly you're going to have players that have like 50 50 plus levels you know what I mean that you can train them up into like 80 overall players from like 62 or 63 so pretty much any search uh, option that you want is here uh, you can search by you know style you can search by any of the player cards you can search by any skill skill card you can search any ability age height weight price what his max level is when you train him up um, and again you can hone in on exactly what you want so if you're looking if you have a hundred thousand gp and you're looking for a center forward for about 50 to 100 thousand gp that has got 80 speed or you know all, obviously you can check with quick counter as well and all the play styles that is very easy to search through this so on top of that as well i think the main reason that you guys would probably be using this and the main reason i use it is for searching for players to see how they actually improve so when we actually go into the managers here we can see how players link up we've also got a squad builder to, to go through in a second but you can search the same you've got all your filters for your search in here you've got like all the, the traits the affinity uh, the tactic types everything like that this is just a, a generic kind of um squads every game in the every team in the game at the moment so we go into ajax here from the era vc we can click on any of the players here and we go into their player profile so the whole idea i think is to get you guys the quickest information is exactly what you want and from here you've got an overview on the player screen you've got all the different card versions which you've seen with messi a couple of minutes ago you've also got you know the price you've got the you know his age you've got his height his weight You've got the progression stats that you can see. Um, they do need to add the progression for the play style values. I know that th that is being worked on at the moment and the update to the circular stuff as well. Um, the circle overall, so you can see there for speed, shooting, dribbling and so on. And also the positions as well needs to be updated a bit. But for example, if you're looking to increase Timber here and you're trying to make him an absolute beast, you can see, okay, if I focus on his speed, he can go into 90 speed in 90 acceleration. If I focus on his defending and I 
I take away his speed and I just want him have to have him as a stopper, what is the highest defensive capabilities that this guy can go up to? So you can kind of play around without having to be in game and waste all those precious training points. And also when you train up a player in the game, you know, there's no there's no backsies. You can't do it again. So this is a really cool way to simulate it in real time. It's very quick very easy to use and as i said here are the different looks at the players so you can like, like train up the players and see okay what does ronaldo's new version with the dribblers compare our great finishers compared to his basic card and then you can go in and have a look at somebody like pedri and see okay i'm gonna have 80 progression points with pedri these are just all examples of players that you can train up and you will see that yeah while pedri has a low base uh, rating he can go up to 92 overall or so on and so on depending on how you train him and turn him into an absolute beast um, instead of as I said wasting precious training points and not being able to do it over again so yeah there's still lots to be added to this but I think that this is the best uh, way of doing it at the moment you can go into Ronaldinho here give him his progression points give up his shooting and say okay Ronaldinho can go to you know 80 plus in finishing or put him into a pure speedster back prime R10 see what he goes to and you can sort it and see who else is going to be coming as an FC Barcelona 05, 0, 04, 05 legend. So yeah, lads, it's pretty it's pretty easy to use. I think if you go in and have a play around with it, any feedback that you guys have, I will pass on. Leave it in the description or leave it in the comments below. Um, you can see there again hovering over the players. You can see in real time uh, how their stats stack up to the other versions of their cards. There's also a player comparison. So this you can compare up to three players at a time. So say for example, you're thinking. How am I comparing Mbappe to Dakit, right? This level rating at the moment is not taken into consideration their actual player progression. Just This just gives, if you were to just train them up as normal, give them like a couple of points here and there um, and see what their speed is. So you could be thinking, yeah, look, Mbappe could be faster than him, but it depends on how you train him. So that will be actually improved and implemented quite soon. I think this week or maybe next week, I'm not too sure. But for the time being, it's just kind of gives them a general who's better stat wise. So when we compare these three boys here, we max them out. You will get different stats based on how you upgrade them. Obviously, you can see the player skills and the stats and the overall stats. You will get different stats. But for now, it is just giving you a very quick overview of what player is compared to the other player with their stats kind of maxed out the best, uh, taking in progression points without you doing it manually yourself. So yeah, lads, that's pretty much it. We go into the managers again. As I said, you can sort out all the managers. You can sort out as much as you want here. You've got all your search filters for that. And last but not least, we have the squad builder. So again, you can search by formation, you can search by tactic, you can search by name, you can search by country. You've got all your stuff in here. If you're looking for a different player, you've got suggestions, you can change them up. Um, not, we don't have, they don't have added the, the drag feature yet. Let me know if that would be something that you'd like to do to be able to create manual, um, like, you know, additions to the, to the, to drag and drop the like similar how you can do it in game that you can drag the dmf back between the cbs or you can put the attack midfielder up a bit further or the right winger and left winger a bit back or forward um it's just kind of set where the positions are at the moment so you can pretty much build your dream squad i know that they are implementing a save feature into this so that you'll be able to share your squads i know also that one of the biggest most highly requested ones is to be able to download the card um, and the profile so that is coming too as far as i know but yeah that is pretty much it lads for uh, the eFootball db showcase back here you can see this week's feature players so you've got the shiny edition of pk um which is one of the most rare ones that you can get um and then you've also got you know a couple of beasts here as well like Salaba, and you can see that he compares massively well to his basic stats of 73 overall for his base card and 84 overall and you can see the, the difference when you hover over so yeah lads, as i said let me know in the comments below any feedback suggestions or anything at all let me know if you have any questions and i will pass them on and get back to you as well other than that, I hope you guys enjoy checking it out. Keep an eye on a couple of other content creators that are going to be uploading this as well. And we will talk to you soon. Peace.